welcome to my youtube channel scientific underscore math in this lecture uh, we discuss the example of fixed point iteration method uh, in previous lecture we have studied uh, uh, the explanation about uh, uh, fixed point iteration method how the fixed point iteration method uh, works and uh, when the fixed point iteration method converges and when diverges so today we will discuss example of fixed point iteration method uh, for finding uh, uh, the numerical solution of nonlinear equation uh, so this is the fixed point iteration method that we have already uh, discussed in previous lecture and uh, this is the condition of fixed point iteration method the fixed point iteration method converges if in the neighborhood of the point uh, fixed point the derivative of g of x has an absolute value that is smaller than 1 so this is the condition for the convergence of fixed point iteration method the absolute value of uh, derivative uh, function g uh, should be less than 1 uh, otherwise uh, the fixed point iteration method will diverge we will see with the help of example example consider the equation that is this one uh, x into e power uh, 0 0.5 x plus 1.2 x minus 5 is equal to 0 and the plot of the function is and uh, this one uh, solution a plot of the function f of x is equal to this one uh, the equation has a, a solution between 1 and x is equal to 2 uh, so we can write this equation uh, in the form of x is equal to g of x in case one when we uh, rewrite this equation in the form of uh, this one x is equal to 5 minus e power 0 0.5 x divided by 1.2 in this case g of x is equal to 0 and uh, g of x is equal to this one and uh, in the derivative of this function is equal to this uh, the value of uh, 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 derivative uh, of g of x at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to which are in the neighborhood of the solution is this one and uh, the derivative of uh, uh, function g at 1 is equal to this one and the uh, value of the derivative of a function g at 2 is equal to this one since the value of derivatives of uh, uh, this one is greater than 1 and at 2 and the derivative absolute value of uh, derivative of g at 2 is greater than 1 so this is not acceptable because we uh, we know that and uh, this uh, uh, in this case uh, is not fulfill our condition so uh, this is our case to again we rewrite the equation in the form of this one and uh, uh, in this case g of x is equal to this and the derivative of g is and this uh, again we calculate the value of derivative at 1 and 2 in the neighborhood of the solution we get uh, at 1 is equal to this value and at 2 is equal to this since the value of derivatives of uh, uh, function at uh, g is uh, greater than 1 and at 2 is less than 1 again this is not acceptable because uh, this is not fulfill our condition the value uh, of uh, function derivative of function must be uh, less than 1 uh, so again we, re we rewrite the uh, equation in the form of this one x is equal to this and uh, in this case uh, uh, we have g of x is equal to this and the derivative of our function is this one okay and the value of uh, derivative of g at x is equal to 1 and 2 are in these uh, 0. Point minus 0. 0.5079 and minus 0. 0.4426 uh, since the values of the derivative uh, the absolute value of derivative and of function g at 1 uh, less than 1 and at 2 uh, again is less than 1 so uh, this is the condition this is acceptable because uh, we know that we have studied uh, in previous lecture the theorem uh, theorem about fixed point iteration and the condition we have uh, studied that and the value of uh, derivative of g absolute value is less than one uh, 
so uh, then uh, the function is uh, then the function will converge toward uh, true solution otherwise it will diverge uh, so in case one these results show uh, that the iteration function g of x from case c is that uh, is the one that should uh, be used uh, since in uh, this case that is less than one therefore we have a iteration formula for uh, iteration method that is uh, x of i plus one is equal to g of x of i so we have uh, our iteration function this one and uh, we start with the x naught is equal to uh, one uh, x naught is equal to one so this is our first iteration and uh, this is the second iteration and when we substitute here we uh, x1 uh, and again we substitute x2 after six iteration we get this 1.4 and 989 converging toward the actual solution that is 1.50 uh, uh, so this is the case uh, uh, case c uh, where the function uh, g of x is converging toward uh, and the actual solution uh, on the contrary if the function g of x from the case a is used in iteration the first few iterations are uh, if we use this function uh, uh, in our iteration and then what will happen uh, so uh, again we choose uh, x naught is equal to one in the neighborhood of our uh, exact solution or a true solution and then we have a first iteration and a second iteration and this is a 2 and 2 point something and minus 5 point uh, something and then again we get a, a 4 point something and uh, after post iteration we see and so uh, these iterations are not converging toward a true solution or a actual solution these are diverges in this case the iterations give the value that diverge from the uh, solution so uh, the, uh, how we select our function and uh, that uh, uh, converge to uh, actual solution or a true solution uh, we uh, we select only uh, the form of the function uh, in which the derivative of a function at both end point of the interval is less than one then it will converge otherwise and this will diverge uh, so uh, this is all about uh, our the convergence and divergence of uh, fixed point iteration method and uh, the function how we uh, choose uh, the appropriate function for our given equation uh, now we write our MATLAB code for uh, uh, fixed point iteration method and uh, we uh, learn how to uh, write a MATLAB code for any given function and we also see uh, the convergence and divergence of uh, um, iteration function with uh, in these cases a and uh, c so first I will show you the convergence of uh, convergence and divergence of cases uh, then we uh, learn how to write a MATLAB code for fixed point iteration method this is our uh, case uh, a in which the function is a diverges and this is the function c this is the case c in which the a uh, function g of x is uh, converging so uh, first we uh, see the convergence of function and case c uh, let it uh, run our matlab code so this is our function is converging the iteration function is converging toward the actual solution and uh, this blue line indicate the uh, function g of x and, uh, and this uh, red line show that y is equal to x that is uh, our straight line so this is uh, converging toward the uh, actual solution uh, uh, where our function uh, y is equal to g of x and uh, uh, y is equal to x intersect at some point so this is the point uh, uh, where uh, 1.5050 uh, this uh, where the function intersect and this is our solution for function for the given equation so uh, now we check uh, the divergence of 
uh, case A. Now uh, I make this as a comment uh, and use the case A. Okay. So we can see that uh, after each iteration, uh, the function iteration R diverges. This diverging. After 20 iteration, we get minus 40.7604, uh, where the function f of x uh, at this uh, root is not equal to zero. This is equal to minus uh, 61.0. 9125. Uh, so this is uh, the convergence and divergence of case A and B with the help of MATLAB code. We see that uh, when we uh, use case uh, C, uh, the function is converging, and when we uh, uh, use case C, um, uh, use case A, the function is diverging, and when we use the case C, the function is converging. Uh, we can see here after each iteration the uh, solution is converging toward the actual solution that is 1.5050 so after 15 iteration we get our required result and at this point uh, the function is equal to and this one when we substitute this root into our given function and uh, this will become equal to zero okay uh, so this is all about the convergence and divergence of uh, uh, the function when we use uh, uh, different uh, when we use a uh, uh, different form of uh, given function we write in different form of uh, x is equal to g of x so uh, we choose only uh, that form uh, and then uh, of g of x when the derivative of uh, g of x at the end point of the uh, at the end point of the interval or less than one then it will converge otherwise uh, it will diverge we see this in detail we, uh, with the help of matlab code as we have already uh, see in uh, our uh, example when we uh, when we was solved this so thank you so much for watching my video uh, in uh, next lecture we will learn how to write a, a matlab code for uh, a fixed point iteration method uh, and we will uh, see how to write this one okay and um, please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math